What's up everybody? I'm Brian from I1 Tesla and today I got a fun video. I'm finally getting rid of this ugly dashboard. A lot of people have commented and complained about this dash or really just commented. I wrapped the dashboard in a vinyl just kind of to practice on wrapping things because I, I want to wrap the outside of my car. And I messed up right here. I don't know if you can see that too well on camera, but you can see the wood there. I didn't buy the right tools for this. I was just really using a regular razor blade. I didn't buy an X-Acto knife yet because I wasn't really going to do the outside till next month. So I decided to do this just to have fun and to play and to mess with a lot of you guys. I signed Elon's name on the dash. I know a lot of you guys really knew that it wasn't really Elon's signature, but thought I'd have some fun with it. Well, today we're gonna change that dash out. I got contacted by T-Sportline. I'm sure you know who T-Sportline is. They're a well-known company that makes a lot of great accessories, wheels, vinyl wraps, uh, carbon fiber. They do a lot of carbon fiber stuff and they make a real carbon fiber dash for that. You know, there's another company out there that makes a carbon fiber dash, but you have to remove the dash and send it to them. And that takes a long time. So you're, you're, you're in your car without a dash for quite a few days. This is precision cut, fits right over top of it. And I'm really excited, it's a matte finish. But first, we have to remove that. You could just, well, remove the vinyl. A lot of you have vinyl on there already, but you could just remove the vinyl and put the carbon fiber dash right over top of that. But I do things a little differently here. I'm gonna remove the dash so you can see the dash uh, up close and you can see how well the carbon fiber fits on there. So, because usually inside the car, it's a little dark, especially with the windows tinted, it's a little darker in there. And I wanna be able to put it on the bench and show you all that. So let's rip this thing out. I think I've done that before. I've seen it somewhere on YouTube. <laughs> All right, you don't need a lot of tools for this. Really, all you need to do is pop this panel off. And actually, with the glove box, you don't even need a, a pry tool. It just pops out. These clips pop right out. And then this side, this piece right here, you want to pop out. It feels like you're going to break it. Oh, gosh, that hurt. <laughs> I, I didn't break it, but as I pull it off, these things, these scraped across my knuckles and that's kind of, that, that's what hurt. But you wanna pull this off, it goes straight out. There's a clip here and a clip here and that'll help remove this dash because we're gonna lift up like that all along there it, and that just unclips. I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna use this pry tool here just to get this panel off just like the other side but it pops off the same way. Same thing with this clip and you lift it up. Now, again, you don't have to rip this out. You can, again, you can put that carbon fiber dash right on here, but I like to show you, what was this? I broke a piece. I finally broke a piece to this car. Let's find out where that goes. But the dash comes right out. Ah, broke another little clip. It's not really broken. This little metal clip here, it's these metal clips here that have this little tooth that grabs on as this pin fits in there. Uh, looks like I broke two of these now. Not a big deal. It's still gonna grab because there's two clips on each one. I can always go to the Tesla showroom and order a couple more of those. Uh, or Tesla, if you'd like to, you could send some out to me. There's a uh, PO box down below. But the reason mine popped off like that, or the reason those broke on mine, because I've removed this dash a few times actually. So you probably don't want to move, remove your dash very often or ever, but you don't need to. I'm doing this for the sake of the video for you guys. I'm doing this for you. The things I do for you guys. All right, so I've, I put this up on the table here. Looks like the floor. I just have some flooring up here because I've got an awesome guy making me a countertop for this. Uh, you may know him as Tony Pham. He's the guy who made quite a bit of stuff for the channel. He makes those license plate brackets, so I can't wait for that. That's going to be amazing. So what I have here is just the dash, and we're going to remove the vinyl. It comes off really easily. I haven't had this on very long, so it should come off quite easily. And I did learn a lot from doing this vinyl. But we're back to my walnut dash where I, I put a coat of lacquer over top of it, which made this uh, vinyl come right off. So really cool. I'm glad I was able to save Elon's signature. 
and this matches the wall. Let's put it back, let's put it on the wall. It's probably not gonna stick very long. I can only hear it. Or it sounds like Rice Krispies. All right, this is the one from T Sport line. Really cool. Well, they put in a really good tube package so it doesn't get damaged at all. I've cut the tape off. I've already looked at it. Let's take it out of the foam. And here it is. This is, let's zoom in a little bit. This is the matte carbon fiber. This is beautiful carbon fiber work. Real carbon fiber, you can see on the other side, it, it's held on with super strong adhesive. The ends are wrapped over, so it's gonna cover everything. Uh, it is just beautiful craftsmanship. Uh, I do look for that kind of stuff. That's one thing T-Sport Line excels in is great craftsmanship. They're not the cheapest company out there as far as products go, but they are one of the best out there because you, you do get what you pay for. You know, you can go to eBay or uh, some products on Amazon are really cheap, like this one. Really cheap spoiler for my wife's car on, on Amazon. And look at the quality of the, the wrap on this. I don't know if you can see the the weave that was not stretched really well that was not stretched right and there's a seam right across here now i'm going to put this on her car because when we get her car sprayed this will be sprayed the color of the car and it'll still look good but there's a huge difference between this quality and t sport lines quality so what you're going to do is first we're going to clean the dash this fits right over top once this is all the way down you're not going to see any of the wood anymore and it lines up perfectly flush with the aluminum that's there. Whether you have the steering wheel piece that comes all the way across, or like mine is the earlier one, uh, this is going to fit really, really nice. All right, so what we have done, taken some rubbing alcohol and a towel and wiped down the dash. Make sure there's no dust on it, make sure there's no glue on there, like we had some glue on there from the vinyl from before. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is, now this is really strong adhesive. So we're going to peel off all of the protective film for this and we're going to lightly set it here making sure that it's in the right spot. Then we're going to focus on the front edge pushing down pushing down on this front edge to make sure that we get it pulled all the way to the front and down all the way so it looks really really nice and again this is this can be done in the car and I'm just gonna take the towel and run my hand run it across the front really pressing down and then we're gonna go along the back because that glue needs to be pushed down pushing down is what really forces that glue bond to stick really well I'm gonna go put it in the car now and then you just push down Absolutely amazing, real carbon fiber. It looks so much better than vinyl. I'm not putting you down if you have vinyl on your dash, but it's really hard to get rid of that wood look if you have some if, if you have vinyl over top of it. Uh, I tried multiple different kinds, so this being real carbon fiber it just looks oh my so wow, so nice. And it has that matte finish, so it's unbelievable. Thank you, T-Sport Line. If you want to get this, there'll be a link down below for T-Sport Line. They're actually offering, if you use my referral link, which will be down below, you'll receive $50 off your order, anything over $500. They have great customer service, great people to deal with, great people to work with. Uh, if you have any questions, give them a call. Pick up this dash. This thing is amazing. It barely adds any weight to the car whatsoever. Uh, it's probably just as much of a vinyl weighs, but it looks a thousand times better than vinyl. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down below what you think about it. I'm in love with it. And uh, tell me what you think about T-Sport Line. Have you bought anything from T-Sport Line before? They have a, uh, this awesome Model X that they're only building 20 of. Wide body Model X. It's mind blowing. Make it look a little different than everyone else's. Everyone's Tesla looks very similar, but there's little things that you can do to make it look like yours. But as always, stay awesome, stay positive. I'll catch you on the next one.